Brandon, congrats on the win. Uh, I think you guys are down 13 maybe with about six minutes left in that third and outscored him by, uh, I want to say, 33 to end the game. You obviously had a big part in that third quarter run. How, did you, how were you guys able to kind of flip this one so quickly in that third quarter after Indiana had the, the strong start? I think just I think coming back to the game, just bringing more intensity um, and just focus on the, the small things. Uh, you know, when you go down, I think the players think you, you, you give up at the time. I think you know, our team just uh, came out there willing to fight uh, and just fight back for you know, everything we needed to have for, uh, for our home crowd. Just playing the right way, um, you know. We, I think we we came out there with a game plan and just you know executing everything that we you know um, worked on before you know and shoot around um, and just compete at a high level. Um, I think just make all the, the winning plays uh, and it. I think it, it it led us to a, a great win tonight. Missing execution tonight. Um, missing obviously a couple of guys with miles and whatnot to be able to pull off this win. It's a team like this at home. What does this game do for you guys right now, man? Give us more confidence. Um, I've been preaching confidence um, in our, how our vets, you know, pick our young, our, our young guys up, including myself. Um, and like I said, just, of course, going out there with the, the mindset of competing at the highest level uh, and, and getting better and making each other better. Brandon, obviously this is about the team, but when you and LaMelo are, are playing like that offensively and defensively in this building, um, what is that like to be a part of? And also, what does it show you guys that, you know, we didn't get to see you guys a lot last year together, but what does it show you guys you can do? Scary sight. Um, it's going to be definitely scary, you know, and LaMelo is the two-way that Coach Charles has been, you know, preaching to everybody um, and also myself. I think that's, you know, a dangerous game to play. Um, you know, just his ability to pass the ball um, on the offensive side and my ability to knock down shots, I think that's a, a great duo to have um, in, in this league. It seemed like uh, the first couple games you came back, your shot wasn't true the way you usually are percentage-wise. Tonight, you got 29 points. Whatever you threw up kind of went in the basket, man. Just what about your performance tonight? Just getting, getting, the, getting it going the way you want to tonight offensively. Yeah, just I think if, you, if your shot's not falling, I think your teammates are going to always keep preaching to you, just keep shooting the ball. Um, of course, it, I think it's more ways to just you know, affect the game. Um, like you said, the defensive side. Um, I feel like we bought into on the defensive side and just got stop, the stops that we needed um, at the end of the game, of course. Um, I think we held them to um, 83 points. Um, I think that's a hard thing to do in this league for sure, uh, especially with a – a great team like that, you know, they're, they're always running in transition. Um, so, you know, you always have to, you know, be turned around just to, you know, catch them on their heels. So. Guys are obviously shorthanded in the front court. No Nick Richards, no Mark Williams, no Miles Bridges. Talk about Musa and the performance he had tonight. 15 rebounds off the bench, great defense. Talk a little about what you saw from him. Like I said, just effort. Um, I think with him, he, he doesn't really care about scoring the ball. Uh, you know, zero points, 15 rebounds, uh, three blocks. Um, I think that's, you know, all we can ask for is him just to give his, his hardest every night um, and, of course, just make all the winning plays. Appreciate it.